Okay, so the first question here wants us to create a new blank workbook. So you, you can see the way it has spreadsheet program open, but it has no spreadsheets open. So you can see the background there is gray. So what we'll do is we'll go to file, new. It is on blank workbook. You see the way you have to scroll a wee bit more because your screen is that wee bit smaller. We go to create. It's a new blank workbook there and we click on answer. And it loads up the second question. Here's one of these questions where it says save this workbook to Z. So this is the Z drive. The Z drive isn't usually there. It's only there now because we're doing a test. So we click into file, save as. You can see it opens up the save as dialog box. It has it in the Z drive. So you can always tell where you are, where you are by the the type of drive it has up here at the very top. So you can see we're in the Z drive here. If you want, you can click on it there on the left hand side just to be sure. But you'll notice that it has Z up here. So you're saving it in the Z drive. The name you want to put in is data. And save. And we click on answer. Okay, this question here wants you to, you can see the numbers of the questions here are, are going to. We also have a skip button at the top here that we can skip. We have answer, clear, suspend test, which won't be there on the exam. You'll have a clock there instead. This one wants to change the Excel username to Sue Davis. So to change the Excel username, we go to file. We go down to options. Enter the username. We type in, is it Sue Davis? It is. Um, exactly as it is. So capital S for Sue and D R V. The way they have it spelled is IS. Okay, so do be sure that you check the correct spelling and then you must click on the OK button. So you can see I have to do a wee bit of drag in there to get it around the window. Your Excel window is only maybe two thirds of the size that it usually be. So we click on answer. It wants to zoom the weather worksheet to 95%. Now 95 is quite a hard one, so you can see. It's letting me drag down. It's going to 93, 95. I would get a 95 there, but what you can do is you can click on the actual number here. You can type in 95, click on OK, and you'll see it then goes to 95. And click on Answer. This question here is a question where it's just asking you where should you click. It's not asking you to physically minimize the ribbon. It's asking you where should you click to minimize it. So what we can do is we can click here. You see it puts the wee green arrow there. Just because it's green now doesn't necessarily mean it's right. It just means that that's wh where you've clicked. We can click where we want it to be and we click on answer. Now these questions at the start of them on the weather worksheet. 90% of the questions in an Excel test start with on the something worksheet. So it's very important that you're on the correct worksheet. In this case, we only have one here. So we say on the weather worksheet, enter the number 33 into cell C9. So we go to cell C9, which is here. You can see C is highlighted in 9. You can also see it's C9 here. And we want to enter 33.1. Now, this cell isn't finalized yet. It's still active. So you can just hit the return key or you can click out of it into one of the cells. It won't let you proceed to the next question while the cell's active still. So we click on answer. Number seven, on the weather worksheet, change the font type of the text in cell A1 to Arial. So we click into cell A1, which is here. The font type is Courier New at the minute. We click it down, we go to Arial. Make sure that you don't click Arial Black. I'll show you. You have Arial Black here and you have Arial. The one you're looking for is Arial. Okay, so on the weather worksheet, this is number eight. On the weather worksheet, change the number in cell F12. So F12, we scroll into F12, first of all, is here to 104.3. So we type in 104.3. Again, we click out of it or press the return or enter key. We need to click on answer. On the weather worksheet, apply italic format to the cell A2. So we click into A2 and we apply italic formatting. We click on answer. So you can see it on the weather worksheet, insert a new column between the columns E and F. So here's E and F here. 
when we insert a column, it will always go to the left hand side. So because we want to put it in the middle, we right click on F, go to insert, and it inserts our column between E and F. And we click on answer. 